Well, the, the health issues um, that the painting industry are, are both common for everyday people, but more specifically, they have their own set of uh, risk factors. Um, the ones that I particularly went and researched around specific risk factors are more to do with cancer. Um, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified painting occupation as a cause of cancer, which was quite scary to actually to, to read that when I was doing my research. Um, also, according to a study from New Zealand, that um, painters are, are very much uh, working with carcinogenic and mutagenic compounds. Simply put, they're meeting with, they're working with toxic substances that are potentially going to cause cellular and genetic damage, which means that that can be disease later in life. It could mean birth defects to children, uh, infertility, uh, but more likely the research says that painters are more likely to get lung cancer and, and bladder cancer from dealing with what they call volatile organic compounds. Now, you and I might think, gee, organic sounds nice, but it's not organic as in buying your organic veggies and your organic fruits. It's to do with the chemistry term for the uh, solvents used within a paint. And it's those solvents where a lot of the concern comes from. One of the things that we are concerned about is how much of these organic, volatile organic compounds are actually built up in the body. And that may have to do a lot with exposure, whether you're working indoors, outdoors, protective equipment worn, type of paints used, type of um, solvents, preparation materials, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. And it, it can be an unknown quantity, so what we want to do is to actually know where we are. We want to do a whole blood test. And that's really the only really way we're going to find out where the industry exposure is coming from through a career of painting. You know, it, it's, it's a hard question to answer. How much is, is in someone's body? How often? Uh, do they get exposed, are they wearing equipment, etc. So the real way to find out is let's get it tested, let's see what the blood levels look like and then we'll make a decision from there or what we need to do to support that individual. I think from the research I've done, volatile organic compounds or VOC gases are, are a problem that are significant in terms of their effects on um, the immune system, skin conditions, eye irritation, um, it can also be quite detrimental mums, and now those mums who want to have families or with their men, the, the VOC gases have, in some research that I've done have shown to cause congenital birth abnormalities. And that's usually in the first trimester that they have seen that exposure to those gases is more likely to, to cause any sort of problems. Now more research is still needed, but let's, let's err on the side of caution and, and try to avoid painting our house or using cleaning products or any sort of solvents during pregnancy, especially around small children. Remember that the air, air, you think of yourself as an adult and your airway is quite large. Now a child's airway is, is significantly smaller. So for a child to actually process and deal with volatile organic compounds or off-gassing as we call it, the gases which come off these uh, solvents, they have a, a smaller uh, amount of uh, airway and smaller lungs, smaller detoxification system, so it's a lot harder for a child to process the same amount of gas than it would be for us. So ideally uh, you, you want to make sure your home is ventilated or you know wait till the children aren't around for a few days. But the problem doesn't go away in a few days. When you're painting a home the, 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 the off-gassing can occur for months to years after after the product the job is done. So it's always making sure that your home is ventilated especially in um, temperate climates. When they work out the grams per litre of volatile organic compounds in a paint product, they actually um, look at the temperature at which the paint starts to break down. So hot climates or humid climates are more likely to see those compounds being released from the product.